Hey guys and uh, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. So the Amiga Core has been released courtesy of Mazamars, uh, which is awesome. Now, I've been enjoying a preview build of it. This is just great that it is actually out for each and every single one of you guys to enjoy. So for, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using Pocket Sync, but you can use Pocket Updater uh, by Retro Driven or Matt Panella's uh, Updater as well. It doesn't matter which one you use, it should be available on, on all of them. I haven't checked it on all of them, but generally when it's on one, it's on all of them. So as soon as you open Pocket Sync, uh, if you open it now, you're gonna see Amiga by Mazamars 312 has been added, which I guess is the latest news, 060623, which was yesterday. So this was released a few hours ago. Now, if it's not there straight away, not an issue. Let's just go on to cores. Now, you can update everything on here, but the point of this video is to get the Amiga core on there. If you want to add additional cores on there, you can do so. So, I mean, Pocket Sync's it's done really, really well. Uh, but let's just go over and, and search Amiga. We've got the Amiga Core by Mazamars. And then once we click on that, we can see yeah, it was updated yesterday, which is the new one with hard drive support for the pocket. That was one of the main features on there. So let's just go ahead and click install. And uh, yeah, let's just confirm that. So that'll grab the core for us. Now, in order to get the hard drive images, the hard drive images are big. So the, the, the updater isn't going to pull that down for you. But let's uh, let's see how we can get that. And I'll show you exactly where you can stick it. <laughs> uh, no, exactly where you can put the hard drive image on your SD card is what I meant. I don't know. Sometimes I just get carried away with my words. But let's go ahead and do that. This core is fantastic. You're really, really going to enjoy this. Okay, so let's head over to the Amiga Vision website. Before we go over to the download page, let's just have a look at this. So Analog Pocket FPGA support. Take Amiga Vision on the go. We have worked with the developer that ported the Amiga Core to the Analog Pocket FPGA handheld to ensure that Amiga Vision has the correct scalar settings and overall delivers the Amiga Vision experience you know and expect and guys if you haven't used amiga vision before it's fantastic i'll put it on my mister and it is an amazing front end it just makes the experience so darn good and it is nothing short of fantastic having this on the go now but just reading the, the, the kind of last part of it the new amiga core on the pocket released earlier today so make sure you have the latest version supports hdf disk images and has mouse emulation and on-screen virtual keyboard and support for analog joysticks for mouse input in docked mode uh, make sure you use the pocket edition of the Amiga Vision since we had to make some po pocket specific changes. Now we're, we're going to have a look at that. We're going to we'll download it together. We'll put it all on together. But that's the one to get uh, if you want to just go and grab that yourself. And favorite support. This is really good because uh, the earlier test version I had, it wasn't. Uh, available but it is now so that's something i'm going to test out i haven't tested it out yet uh it's here probably our number one requested feature for the launcher you can now mark games and demos as favorites and they will show up in the favorites ca favorites category in the top of the launcher that is fantastic because there's a lot of games on there sometimes you forget what a game is called you find it by seeing uh, an image of it when you're going through the launcher now you can add that to favorites so this is just getting really really good it's it's an amazing amazing experience honestly and i'll keep saying it but i i, I was blown away when i first used the amiga vision front end those favorites are stored on the saves hdf and they will persist across upgrades just like your save files and other customizations. So that's good to know. I won't go through all of it. Then you've got a part here about dynamic aspect ratio, the different um, uh, hertz of so 50 hertz games, the power ones, some at 60. From what I remember, most of the stuff on the Amiga, at least the stuff that I played, was power. Some might have been NTSC. But do have a read of this. I'll leave a link of this uh, in the description of the video. Uh, so big thanks out to uh, you guys over at Amiga Vision. Absolutely love your work. So what we want to do is i'll leave uh, another link as well for the direct page of the amiga vision website so here we are we're on the website now and it's got a simple button as soon as you head over here amiga.vision you could you just need to click on download once you click on download it's going to take you to a disclaimer about archive.org make sure you read the disclaimer but once you're happy with it click it and here you go it will bring you over here now we, we want to go over to amiga vision now there's a few different ways of downloading it let's just go to the files and show all so the one that we want to download is the clues in the name they've made the specific build for the pocket i think this one above for the mister don't quote me on that because i do intend to uh, update my mister later but i have a version on the mister and this is new stuff for you guys to join the pocket so that's what i'm doing i'm currently 
covering the pocket version first but this is the one that we want now we can either go down a torrent route or we can try and download it uh straight from archive.org now archive.org generally is slow but let's let's try it let's see how fast it kind of downloads uh for me okay so yeah that is that might take some time so i'm going to go down the torrent route it's up to you how you download it if if you're not used to using torrents or you don't know about them you can look into them it does make stuff like this easier uh but uh you may um yeah you might want to go down you may want to do a direct download and just kind of go out and leave it i mean it's saying one hour at the moment so if you can download it and just i don't know go and have a cup of tea it's sunny here in the uk go and sit down in the garden but either way get your download however you get your download and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at the next step right guys uh presuming all of you have downloaded your file now so this is the file that we want amiga vision mega ags pocket once you've got that you'll see it's in uh it's it, it's zipped up it's it's a set seven zip file so what we want to do is we just want to extract that so i'm just going to go over to seven zip and choose extract files so that should only just take a minute okay so once that's extracted you can actually get rid of the seven zip uh we're not going to need that anymore so on the left hand side our downloads folder on the right hand side i've got the roots of my analog pocket sd card now just to point out for these tutorials i generally tend to wherever i can and i did on this occasion use a blank sd card i put it in the in the analog pocket just to format it and to get all the files on there to all the file system on there and then that's it nothing else on there and i'm going through this tutorial i'm going to test out what we've done in this tutorial at the end of this video on the analog pocket to see if it's working and the reason i do that is because then i know it's working when i start putting stuff here's something i've done earlier here's something i i here's a way to do it and i'll start using things that i've done before it, mistakes can occur at least this way i know it is foolproof but um let's go in here let's click that okay so sorry go back out so here we go we're going to go click on the amiga vision folder then the mega ags pocket right once we've got these folders here there's a readme in here as well which tells you everything so if you do get stuck ha give that a read uh, but i'm pretty much doing what's in here then all this stuff is going to go assets and because this is the only core i've got on here uh the, the only stuff i've got on here is for the amiga so we're going to go assets amiga now if you haven't got a folder in here called common then make a folder in here and just call it common uh, because that is where our stuff goes so c o m m o n common and just drag this stuff over here into the common folder or copy and paste it whichever way you like to do it this will take a minute it's it's quite a big file then check actually how big the hdf image is let's have a look at how big that is okay so that's almost four gig just under four gig so that will take a little while to copy and then once that's copied over we're going to go over to the analog pocket and we're going to see if it actually boots up and hopefully the tutorial worked or everything we've done so far works and we can enjoy this fantastic amiga core okay now that that has copied over let's uh, insert this micro sd card in our analog pocket and take this for a test run so guys here we are over at our analog pocket with the memory card that we've just put the amiga uh, core on by mazamars and amiga vision so let's head over to open fpga and you're going to see there's nothing else on there but the Amiga and hopefully it works. So let's just boot this up. So you're going to hear my controller, but I am testing this real time. The, the tutorial was done in real time, apart from the part where I actually downloaded um, the actual hard drive images that I just kind of done because that would have taken too long and made for a boring video. But here it is booting up. Give it a second. Be patient. It will boot up. Aha, here we are. So uh, I've got a slow memory card, so maybe maybe that might be affecting it. Um, you might be able to do it with a faster memory card. I was just using the 8 gig micro SD card I did actually get with my uh, Mister, my DE10 Nano. So I don't think it's one of the fast ones, but it's okay for experimentation. So let's let's just go ahead and boot up a game. Let's go. Hopefully Rainbow Islands is in here. No, it's not doing Rainbow Islands. Okay, let's do Rodland. Rodland's a really, really cool game. And here you go, look, I'm moving the right analog stick, which lets me control uh, the mouse, which is which is awesome. And uh, here we go, pressing the select button brings an on-screen keyboard up. Now remember, if you want to exit the game, just press the delete button. Yeah, on-screen on screen keyboard and delete. And if the game features a save file, uh, it will actually save for you. The game will save. So let's, 
let's try some Rodland. This is a really, really good game. I've been playing this on the Jellico Mega System 1, but it's also fun on the Amiga. And guys, this is the core. You should have the Amiga core up and running right now. Uh, I've got some, I don't know whether it's my capturing software or anything. I've got like a, a little bit of distortion on the image. Hopefully that's not the actual core. But here you go. You can see the game is running. We have the Amiga. I'm using this docked, uh, but you know, I, I'm more going to kind of use this as a handheld because I love handheld gaming and it's so nice to have the Amiga on the go. But let's exit that. So on screen keyboard with a select button, press delete and bang we are out it will take us back to that front end press select again to get rid of that um front end and let's have a look okay here we go so if you press uh if we're talking xbox controller if you press y you can add a game to your favorites i've just added rodland to my favorites so that would be triangle on a playstation controller or i guess x on like a nintendo styled controller uh but that's that's really it guys you've You've got the Amiga thing running now. Go enjoy it. There's lots and lots of games. Stuff's been categorized by charts. So you can have a look at Amiga Law Top 100. You can have a look at uh, curated content. Uh, there's just so, so much on here. And you can have a look at stuff by genre as well, by title, by year, non-English, demo scene stuff. There's a lot of stuff on here. There's multi-player stuff. So if you've got a link cable and a couple of uh, analog pockets, you can actually play all these games linked up. And it's just nice how they've been put into this beautiful category. But guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you followed everything uh, uh, that you saw in this tutorial, you should be enjoying the Amiga Core on your analog pocket exactly the way that I'm enjoying it. So that's it, guys. I uh, really hope you uh, enjoyed this content. I want to send a special thank you out to Mazamars and uh, the guys over at Amiga Vision for just making this awesome thing. And have a look here. You've all got, all got the cheats, unlimited credits. So if you do want to cheat and get through games, you can turn these options on while the game is booting up. So yeah, thank you to Mazamars and Amiga Vision. Guys, if you've not played R-Type, R-Type is fantastic. There's not a bad version of this game and the Amiga version is good. But that's it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, do enjoy the Amiga Core. And guys, I will see you around in the next video. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.